New at 6, giving green energy a whole new meaning. John Ramos on the science behind growing trees that glow. When the sun goes down in the city, we use these to light our way. But what if we could rely on these instead? And we've developed a novel plant that glows in the dark uh, using the latest tools and techniques that are known as synthetic biology. A small biotech company in San Francisco called Glowing Plant is using genetic engineering to develop plants that give off their own light. Chief scientist Kyle Taylor has discovered a way to add DNA to plant cells that causes them to produce the same chemical that makes fireflies glow. It hasn't been easy. I must admit the moment we could actually see it and get it over the vis visibility threshold was one, a huge relief, um, and two, like, oh, thank God. It's too faint to pick up on video, but a still camera with a long exposure shows the plants glowing away. The idea has sparked people's imaginations, causing $600,000 in pre-sale orders. And really the goal of that glowing plant project was to create a product that symbolizes the advances that we're making and inspires people to imagine what else we can create. But the project is also inspiring fear. Environmental groups have complained about the uncontrolled creation of these types of genetically modified organisms. I think the conversation should be like, how should we use this tool as opposed to the knee-jerk reaction of, oh, it's bad, let's get rid of it. Someday the plants these scientists are developing may serve as your nightlight or even light your street. But even now, their faint glow is casting light on the awesome power that genetic engineering will have in our future. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The company says its discoveries will be open source, which means they will be freely available to the public. And they recently raised $400,000 in a Kickstarter public funding campaign. But a little bit weird. Weird, but, hell, yeah, look <laughs> down into the future. Might be the way we all live in a few years. Still ahead.